I've talked about lymph nodes and how they are a normal part of our immune system. And I've talked about the lymph nodes that are important relative to the breast. What I'd like to do now is talk about how lymph nodes can be abnormal, particularly in the setting of breast cancer. Any of us who've had little children know that when they get a runny nose and start coughing and sneezing, it's very common for the lymph nodes in their neck to get swollen. And it feels like they've got little golf balls under their skin for a few days, and then uh, they're gone. And that is a normal process. Lymph nodes becoming swollen in the presence of infection can be normal. Uh, in a way, it's the lymph nodes in young people educating themselves about how to defend the body. For most people in adulthood, lymph nodes don't get large when you have a cold because they are seasoned and know what to do and, and don't become enlarged. But they certainly can become enlarged in a variety of infections and inflammatory conditions. And that's really not what I intend to focus on here. Unfortunately, lymph nodes can become enlarged in the setting of certain cancers and breast cancer is one of them. And so there is a single word that really defines the importance of swollen lymph nodes in the setting of breast cancer. And that word is metastasis. Metastasis is the process by which cancer cells leave their place of origin, in this setting, the breast, travel, through lymph vessels, which we've talked about earlier, and arrive within lymph nodes. Now, it's true that our immune systems generally kill cancer cells, but it is equally true that they do not always kill cancer cells. And so, the process of metastasis is cloaked in mystery. Why it happens in some people and not others, how it occurs. There's many questions about metastasis that remain to be answered. But thinking of it in simple terms, cancer cells can escape the breast where they begin, <clears throat> enter into the lymph system and float through tubes, lymphatic channels, to lymph nodes where they are not killed, but where they find a new home, where they begin to divide and divide and divide and potentially replace normal lymphocytes with cancer cells. <clears throat> Metastasis then can occur through lymph vessels to lymph nodes. That's not the only way cancer can spread. Cancer can also spread through the bloodstream, in which case cancer cells can literally go anywhere that blood goes. But I'm not going to talk about that just now. I'm only talking about the importance of spread of breast cancer to lymph nodes. Why is the spread of breast cancer to lymph nodes important? It is important because if cancer has spread to lymph nodes, usually the ones under the arm, it can increase the risk for cancer showing up in other organs later on under a variety of circumstances. And so knowing the risk that cancer could return is important for the doctors who take care of cancer because it influences what we do for patients. For example, the presence of cancer in lymph nodes, breast cancer in lymph nodes, could be the difference between 
chemotherapy or no chemotherapy. It could mean the difference between large field radiation or smaller field radiation. So important decisions are made when lymph nodes appear to be involved in breast cancer. <clears throat> when lymph nodes are involved with breast cancer that has been present for a while, lymph nodes get big enough to be felt on physical exam. And it would feel like a walnut or a little golf ball under your arm, sometimes elsewhere, but mostly under the arm. Uh, and that would be a lymph node or even several lymph nodes that have so much cancer in them, they have become enlarged enough to be felt. There are other ways to evaluate lymph nodes. And one of the best ways to examine lymph nodes is with ultrasound of the axilla or the underarm. Ultrasound is a good way to look at lymph nodes. It's a good way to measure lymph nodes, and it is a good way to determine whether lymph nodes that you see appear to be normal, both in size and contour, or appear to be abnormal in size or contour. So ultrasound of lymph nodes can be important in certain people. Abnormal lymph nodes can be seen on mammograms, but this is not a way to look at lymph nodes routinely. Abnormal lymph nodes can be seen on MRI of the breast and anterior torso. Uh, this is not a screening tool, but abnormal lymph nodes can be seen. And the important thing about MRI is that not only can MRI look for abnormal lymph nodes in the axilla or the underarm, but it can look for lymph nodes that we can't normally feel, for example, behind the breastbone, the internal mammary lymph nodes, to see if those are enlarged. And that can be important in certain patients. There are other evaluations other than ultrasound and MRI for lymph nodes. And these are very important in determining the staging of breast cancer. And I'll talk about that in another video, but it involves biopsy of lymph nodes, which can be routine in the surgery for breast cancer. And those biopsies are often called sentinel lymph node biopsies.